Well, hello, I'm Benson Keel. Uh, I am a second generation self-taught artist from California originally. Uh, my mother was an artist, was my first influence with art. She went to the Art Institute and uh, was an academic artist. And uh, I used to play around with her books and things of that nature and started drawing and it just really just uh, resonated with me and I started uh, doing artwork from there. And fast forward to today, uh, I'm still doing artwork. I don't see, my ever, see myself ever not doing artwork. It's one of those things that it's part of your DNA. Either you're an artist or you're someone that uh, sings, dances, or writes, or does something else. But for me, artwork is, is it. And I think that uh, when it comes to art, uh, it's a feeling. And for me, it's also, I'm building my legacy. With art, it's, it's a way to actually uh, keep yourself, your memories, and everything else alive, and give something to the youth that come behind you. Because as an artist, you have a job to uh, not only tell a story of what's going on in your life, but also to help the people to come behind you. And just like the old masters that came before us, uh, like Charles White, Charles White said something uh, real profound, I thought. He said, if you're going to paint a picture, that picture should actually say something. It shouldn't just be a picture. And that's what I try to do in my art. And with uh, the Truth Be Told show, I think that uh, my pieces, they're addressing a person taking a moment. It's about uh, time out. It's about connecting the chakras, um, a sense of being. But, and I'm doing that through uh, bright colors, um, rhythm, and subject matter changes. Uh, right now at the King Street Station, Truth Be Told exhibit, uh, they have some of my zebras out here. And most people don't think about zebras at all. But I connect the zebras in a way that connects back to Africa and back to African American life. And a lot of people see those things and they get the connection right away. And I feel that it's a, it's a good way to actually uh, paint a different type of picture. Um, instead of just doing a portrait of someone or something like that, they can see something that they're familiar with in the, uh, the culture. But it's a zebra. And a lot of people are really resonating with those things and that's something I really enjoy. But uh, <clears throat> I think this show, for me, is really memorable because one, no one has ever put a show like this together, uh, I would say probably since the 60s or so or something like that. Uh, maybe early 70s when other black artists came together, um, like uh, Benny Andrews when they protested the Met because their art wasn't being shown. And speaking of Benny Andrews, I think that uh, that's what we're doing today. He said, we can't rise without the backs of those that came before us. And all of us, we look up to the artists that came before us and we're trying to uh, create art that the next generation can look to us and take art even further. You always have to grab art uh, express it however you feel that they should be expressed and then go further with it. And that's what I try to do with my art is tell a story, educate, but also reflect on history. And I think this show is really memorable because um, it brought a community together. Uh, like a lot of the communities right now across the nation, they're divided with what's going on with uh, civil rights and politics and so on. And here we are, we brought together so many artists with so many different uh, works of art. Um, and everybody is really enjoying fellowshipping with each other. And uh, it's a way to heal. And that's what art does. It heals the soul, it heals the mind, it makes you feel good. And uh, that's what we're doing. And as for myself, I look forward to being able to do more shows like this, bring more of the community together, and spread it across the country. Uh, art is about love, and the more love that you can put into your art and uh, share with people, the more people will come together. And that's pretty much what, what I think uh, we've done with this show. 
And uh, I want to thank Onyx and everybody who was involved in putting it together. And I look forward to doing it again. And hopefully, if you haven't had a chance to come down, you'll come down and see the show. You'll support us and join us. And we can all spread the love of black art across the nation.